We got a good soaking rain this morning without any real severe weather threat. A few downpours here and there, but everyone got at least some rainfall, some more than others with a few nearing an inch of rainfall had just over an inch of rainfall out in Gonzales, just over eight tenths of an inch at Kenner and just about that in Slidell. Our high today 79 that was at 855 in the morning and then the low was about an hour later at 65. So rain cooled air temperatures were able to rebound a bit, but never returning to where our highs were for the day. A few little light sprinkles still on the map at the moment, but most of our rainfall coming to an end. Now we're staying under mostly cloudy skies at the moment, but the clearing line is already across southwest Louisiana, and it does look like we will see some clearing later tonight, probably after 10 to 11 o'clock, and then mostly clear through the overnight. Overcast skies looking toward downtown at the moment, and I was talking about that wake low where we get kind of a difference in the pressure behind these squall lines, and that can create some stronger winds and we've seen that at times during the afternoon hours winds right now sustained at Kenner up to 21 miles an hour with still a few light showers 60s and low 70s again those temperatures never really did respond because after the rainfall we stayed under cloudy skies dew points in the 60s so even with the clearing of our skies temperatures not going to be getting very cool overnight winds have increased gusting up to 31 at Kenner and gusting up to 23 miles an hour right now at Slidell a wind advisor will remain in effect through 1 a.m sustained 25 to 35. Now note that is not everywhere kind of in more localized areas for those stronger winds, but that may continue into the late night hours as well as for the lake and Gulf waters. A gale warning remains in effect until 1 a.m. Dry air aloft is just now moving into uh, western Louisiana, but more so into southwestern Louisiana, and we will start to see those clearing skies thanks to this upper trough that's moving through. Unfortunately, the trough not bringing cooler, not really drier air, but kind of clearing us out at least with more sunshine on the way for tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll see a lot more sun with high temperatures, more mid 80s, and that's about where we're going to stay for the next several days. I do think we'll start to increase a little bit of cloudiness at times Wednesday, Thursday, and then maybe some stray showers as we head into the day on Friday. Overall, the rest of this week relatively dry, maybe an isolated sprinkle on Wednesday afternoon. Complex of storms off to our west, but doesn't look like anything here. And then by Thursday, it looks like partly to mostly cloudy skies with a look ahead to what may be a wetter part of our Jazz Fest weekend. Not all weekend. As a matter of fact, the best chance of rain moving in on Friday. Now, at the moment, doesn't look like much of an event here in southeast Louisiana for most of us. However, just off to our west with that approaching complex of storms, there will be a low end threat for some isolated street flooding. As of right now, Metro New Orleans not included in that, but as we get closer to Friday, we will start to get better analyses on the uh, forecast models and we'll have a much better idea of uh, whether or not Friday looks to be a wetter day. Doesn't look like to be an all day rain event on Friday either. And at the moment, no big soaking rains for our Jazz Fest weekend. Thursday, mostly dry. Saturday, mostly dry at about a 20% chance. Most of that rainfall Friday looks to be more afternoon than dry, but very warm as we wrap up our weekend and we start off next week warm and humid.